Evil Dead fans, I'm here to make a video on finding the proper exhaust piece for your Evil Dead chainsaw, or your Army of Darkness chainsaw, or your Ash vs. Evil Dead chainsaw, and the proper handles. But first and foremost, uh, the last video I made, I said uh, I wasn't going to be building chainsaws for a while. Well, that is true, um, unless there's a special request for one, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'll build one. But um, for just making them, I'm going to take a break from making them. I will not stop building. And I will not stop making videos. I will make videos on other builds other than chainsaws unless I build another chainsaw for somebody else and I want to make a video on it. And I will show some of the, some of the stuff I'm doing for uh, this customer of mine who's I'm doing a trade for the power glove. And uh, But yeah, I'm not going to stop making videos. Some people thought I was going to just stop, but I'm not. I'm still going to make videos and still going to build some stuff. And, and we're talking about collaborations and things like that. And I've talked to... Gothman and this other gentleman about doing podcast. Ooh, what the heck was that? Doing some podcasts or something like that. Um, but we'll see what happens. We're going to try to move all of our stuff into another realm with podcast and conversations and collaborations and things. Uh, first and foremost, let's go over the handles one more time. I've done this before. Most of the Homelight XL, even the plastic ones, you get a metal hand. You can find a metal handle. That's the most common thing. The metal handles also come on the metal bodies, the aluminum bodies. And the aluminum bodies are actually lighter than the hard plastic ones, believe it or not. They're actually a lot lighter. And in my opinion, they're easier to work with, uh, easier to cut, easier to fix versus the plastic one because the plastic wants to start, try to flex on you. So you got to be careful when you're cutting them because you put too much heat on them when you're cutting them if you're using the, like a die grinder or if you're using um, even a Dremel tool. You can melt too much plastic and then you got to try to fill it in so be careful with that but i've showed you this before when you do a metal hand when you get a metal handle on the plastic ones the mounting holes are side to side now if you have a uh, actually this is upside down now if you have a metal body the mounting holes will be top to bottom that's a way to tell the difference and the metal ones insert while these ones go through like a little cuff or a little kind of section just hooks into uh, the other kind is the hard plastic ones. Now, the market has dried up on these. There's none for sale on eBay because I did buy the last one. Sorry if somebody was looking for one, I it's mine. I always keep extra parts in case, uh, in case I need them for a future project for a chainsaw. So, the hard plastic one is the most correct one. Now, if you're gonna use the hard plastic one, beware when you do cut it and you put it on the chainsaw, don't start picking it up. If you're using, well, I wouldn't pick it up anyways with this because then you start getting, you know, start getting a lot of flex in it. So you don't want, you don't want to just be whipping it around with it because you're going to mess this up and rip it because it is just hard plastic. So you definitely want to avoid that. You always want to lift it by the top handle and then just hold this by its side when, uh, whenever you're holding it because your hand's going to be inside anyways. But this is the proper one. And another place to find them, if you have a friend or if you know somebody has a Home Light XL Little Devil or Red Devil, whatever it is, and that one's the wrong body. Uh, the muffler side is too big. The one panel that has the pull string is correct. You can use that. But maybe if you have a metal handle and you want this hard plastic one, because they all come with those hard plastic ones, you might be able to convince them to trade them for a metal one because they fit exactly the same as long as it's as long as the hand, it's a metal handle from a plastic body but yes these are the correct ones if you can find one but that's another way to find one because there's none in the ebay none of them right now i just looked again and uh you got to be kind of diligent on her because i look for them like every day and if i see one i grab it so <clears throat> you got to beat me to beat me to the chase uh it's kind of a dick move on my part but but i do and the same with the, these exhaust pieces now, what's considered the exhaust is the open panel that's in the back on the right side. Now, if you're looking for one on eBay, they do sell them on eBay, but they're not called, exa called exhaust pieces. They're called mufflers. That's what they are. And I'm going to show you guys which ones to use for what movie or what TV show and what parts to avoid. So here we go. All right, Evil Dead fans, here we are. See, we've got a bunch of pieces right here. Now, when you're looking for it on eBay, you just look up Home Light XL Muffler. What you're usually gonna find is this piece, sometimes separate, this piece sometimes separate, this piece separate sometimes, and this piece sometimes separate. 
But most of the time you'll find this piece, like this one, I'll, I'll, I'll go over this in a second, like this, this one over top, and then this one, like this. Now this is the proper one you want to actually find if you're doing the, any, of the, any of the chainsaws. This one piece will cover them all. Now this piece is wrong. Now I only had this to work with with, do, with doing the standard. That's all I had. It didn't have the correct the correct one. Like I said in that video, I was kind of uh, kind of to the mercy of what I had at the time. Now let me take this apart and show you guys why. Now right now this is for the one I'm building. You actually have to cut it down almost in half, and I'm filling in some gaps here, and I'm gonna sand that down smooth because I want it to look really nice when he gets it. I don't want it to look beat up. A lot of times you have a little dimple on both sides and I'm filling that in. I think this one kind of has it. Yeah, that one has the little dimples in it. Now if you put it next to it, you notice that this is a lot wider. And this distance at end to end is the same. But this one's cut down, of course. Let me put the, let me get a better view of this here. Now what you'll notice, yes, it is wider, but especially right here, there is a sharper corner. Now the way I had to use this on my standard, I had to cut it in half and then I had to pie cut it at an angle here to make it fit because it was so long and wide compared to what, what I needed to use. So if you can avoid use it, using this, do it. A telltale sign of that's the one it is, you'll see this pattern. Now if you see that pattern, that's the kind it is and it's a lot sharper. And sometimes you'll find them on Homelite and XLs. You really won't find them on the Super 2s. Uh, you're rolling the dice when you buy a Homelite XL on which muffler you're going to get. But if you see this little panel hanging out, that's usually a good sign you have the proper exhaust. Most of the time, sometimes this will have that on it. Usually not, but sometimes. So if you bought one of these in one whole piece, and beware, when you are getting them, sometimes you'll see a picture like this. And if you don't have a second picture, I would not buy it. They have to have multiple pictures of it when they're selling it because sometimes you'll flip it over, there's nothing there. This is all you're going to get. The price could be good, but you're not getting what you want. Especially if you're doing a, the Evil Dead 2 cabin scene, Army of Darkness, or Ash vs. Evil Dead. You're going to want this one. Now this one, don't throw it away because this one is used for the Evil Dead 2 Workshed scene. This is the one he uses. So keep it around if you want to build one later with the flat top or if you, somebody wants you to build you one or if somebody wants to trade, um, you have that. I have a crap ton of these just sitting around. And another telltale sign you'll see on these little tabs, you'll see a number 93976. You find that, you're usually going to find the correct stuff. So in retrospect, Avoid this unless you absolutely have to, but you got to cut it down a lot. It's a pain. Um, you're going to find it like this, usually on the pictures, and with this other side on the inside. This is what you see on the outside of the chainsaw when you buy a home light XL. You don't see this. When you don't see that, you see that. So usually when you see this hanging out, it's usually the right one. 90% of the time it is. There might be that 10% that it's not. Um, depends on who pre-owned it because usually they're all pre-owned They may have swapped something out uh, But if you buy this you can usually get them for about eight to twelve bucks the whole thing online uh, The shipping usually runs from about three dollars to six dollars. There's some people trying to ship them for like 12 to 15 bucks they can go eat a dick because I'm not paying that much for shipping for one of these uh, Because my good friend goth man is gonna start molding these things, but I always like to keep extras around so I actually just ordered another one tonight, actually about like 10 minutes ago. So I snag those up too, but not as much as these plastic handles. Uh, I snag them up whenever I can see them, so you got to try to beat me to the chase. Uh, but yeah, try to find this whole piece. It's good to have, whether you're doing the uh, work shed chainsaw or you're doing any of the other ones. So you have both pieces that you're going to need for to do at least two different types of chainsaws. This one doesn't offer you a squat. It gets you close, but it's not going to be 100%. So, it, 
my dogs are barking out there. So basically at the end of this video, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still gonna make videos and I'm still gonna keep building. And I'm gonna show some stuff uh, probably on the next video of what I'm doing for the chainsaw, uh, for the chainsaw I'm building for the uh, gentleman that I'm tra trading for the uh, power glove. Until next time, you guys stay groovy and I really hope this helped you out on uh, building your chainsaw hand. Have a great day. Bye.